so you might be trying to figure out how you can screen record on your M3 MacBook Air. Now doing this is very basic, really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and hop inside of your QuickTime player inside of your MacBook. So you can go and search for it up here, or what you can do is go straight into it via your QuickTime player. So you can go into other inside of this other folder and find, and find QuickTime player, which looks like this. Then what you want to do is you want to come straight into QuickTime player, which will show you this type of panel at the very top. And what you want to do here is you want to click on file and you want to go and click on new screen recording, which is right here. So tap on new screen recording and this little panel is going to come up and now you can choose what type of screen recording you want. So if you want to record entire screen, which is probably what everyone wants to do, you want to go and tap on this record entire screen option, which is right here. And then you can kind of choose further exactly what you want. So you can choose these types of different ones. You can even take a screenshot if you want to. But whenever you're ready, you want to click record and it will actually start recording your particular display. So now what you can do is you can choose a, you know, and you can do whatever you want to, it really doesn't matter. So you can kind of maneuver around, do whatever you want to choose, change things around. And then whenever you're ready, what you want to do after is you want to go and click on the stop button. So whenever you want to stop recording, you want to click on the stop button right up here. And then that's it. You can see now you have this recording that you've done. You can even specify if you want audio being recorded or not, but that's it. Now, before you let go, you want to go and you can either click the X button or you can just click the up here in the file. You can export this particular you know, recording you've done. You can save this recording, which I'd recommend doing. You can even command S and you can choose where you want to go ahead and save it. So you can save it to the desktop or you know, wherever you want to. So you can just kind of choose wherever you want to record it. And then that's it. Once it's recorded and saved, you're pretty much good to go. You can go and open it up as you normally would right here, kind of move around with it too. And that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.